Today, we will get to know more about exclusive logs in SQL Server. We will set up the table and its data for the demo purpose. We are using DB1 database to create our test resource for today's demo. I am dropping and recreating the table with two columns ID and name. We are inserting two rows into the test table. When selected, there are those two rows stored in the hard disk. For ID1, name is test1 and for ID2, name is test2. Now, with the two new SQL query window with speed values 62, 63, we are testing the exclusive and shared logs. The speed 62 has two update commands that impose exclusive log for each row. A wait for one minute is explicitly introduced for the purpose of demo between two update statements. A quick overview of the logs held by speed 62 only one shared lock on database resource db1 is currently held now we execute the code in spits 63 and 63 spit 63 will enter block mode as it is in wait state spit 62 on the other hand will execute for one minute and 10 seconds and finally it rollbacks currently the logs held by spit 62 in addition to the one shared lock on database resource db1 it has two intent exclusive locks on page and table level and one exclusive lock on row id for row level that is in the grand state the visual notation of the spit holding the x lock for two row ids the additional locks held by spit 63 or two intent shared locks on page table level and one shared lock on row id for row level that is in the wait state for the tb test table resource already the yellow speed 62 holds an exclusive lock on it now the blue speed 63 wants a shared lock on it the compatibility levels of exclusive and shared lock is that the shared lock has to wait when an exclusive lock is set. The yellow speed executes for one minute initially until it acquires the second exclusive lock on another row and retains the second exclusive lock for another 10 seconds. Now in hard disk, test 1, test 2 are the accurate data held for ID 1 and 2 respectfully. Now SPID 62's transaction manipulates the data in RAM as ABCD and ABC for ID 1 and 2 respectfully. When 62's transaction commits, the data are returned back to hard disk. If 62's transaction rollbacks, the temporary data in RAM are discarded. Meantime, I would like you to remind that both the spits 62 and 63 are currently executing in parallel. Spit 62 has the update statement currently executed. Now, the execution of spit 
62 has crossed the 1 minute mark. Let's switch to the locks held by split 62 as it starts to execute the next update statement. As you can see, now it has two intent exclusive lock as well as two exclusive locks, one for each row, both in grand state. Now the executions are completed. Let's check the lock status. Both the spits hold the same shared lock on the database as it was before the start of the execution. Scenario 2. Now let's comment the scenario 1 and turn towards scenario 2. Now let's execute spit 62 and 63 parallelly. Surprisingly, spit 63 fetches the data immediately without any wait. It's because we have overridden the default behavior of SQL Server by setting the transaction isolation level as read uncommitted. But spit 62 will usually follow the 1 minute 10 second transaction mark and executes in the same fashion as in scenario 1. It is currently executing the wait command for 1 minute. Afterwards, it would start executing the update statement, thereby executing a wait of wait for 10 seconds and finally it rollbacks the transaction.